Stevenson gets the 17-7 win over Albright here on Senior Day. Glenn Clark with head coach Kathy Raley. Coach, bit of a slow start. Um, the draws weren't going for you. The shot's not necessarily on target. Was it a nerves thing, an emotions thing on senior day? What happened and what changed things for you there in the second quarter? It was 100% just the emotion of senior day. We looked drained. Um, we looked unenergetic. Uh, we looked like we were going through the motion. So, you know, when you get so excited about something like this and then the celebration this morning and then, uh, you know, all the, the hullabaloo that goes on pregame, I think it's really hard to come out and then be immediately turn around and focus on the game plan or focus on what's happening. So um, that being said, you know, a, a running clock game against a very good defense mm-hmm. – uh, is nothing to be ashamed about. So, so would we have been happier if we had taken that 40 shots and scored 22 of them? Absolutely, would we would have been happier. But we did a we did a good job with what uh, our energy level was today, as far as um, maybe not at its peak. Uh, we're going to go back to the drawing board for some of the things that we did wrong today. Uh, but I'm you know I'm just so super happy to see there were moments that were really really good today. Great ball movement. Um, wonderful cutting, full speed cutting, full speed finishing of shots. Uh, we did a lot of great stuff. So we're just going to ho- try to hold on to those moments moving forward. Uh, it seemed like in the early going, when mm-hmm. it was taking a second, your goalie was doing a heck of a job. Of, doing her job. Of, of you know, what, what she was doing in the early going when maybe it was a little bit slow for everybody mm-hmm. else. How important was that that you had that rock back there to, to make sure things didn't go any sort of weird way? You know, it, these last about week and a half, uh, Sophie is just really, uh, become so solid and you know she's a player that does listen to what I'm trying to get done on the sideline she makes real changes real important changes in real time as the game goes on so um, you know I'm very proud of that that's that's a that's a really coachable person and somebody who wants to be better um, it's fantastic I thought that we did a she did an extraordinary job and we as a defense did a good job of getting a stick on pretty much every shot they were taking today um, you know we need to focus in and get much much better ground balls we were ground ball lazy today so we're gonna get re- we're gonna work on some of that uh, leading up to York we can't do that against York Oh, that was where I was going next yeah. right that's a massive game yeah. against yeah. a team that just pounded Messiah yes, the other indeed. day um, what will it take for you guys to be able to stare down a really good York team on Wednesday night? It's going to take much more precise passing, catching, and game plan execution than we've had. Um, You know, quarters two, three, and four against Lebanon Valley, great game plan execution. Quarter one, no. So we give them four goals off the start just because we're not not playing to the game plan um, and not scoring like we should have been scoring. Today, same thing. All right, we're not executing the game plan. We're not thinking about what we need to do offensively. We're not taking the time on our shots and shooting hard. And, you know, we're, we're leaving teams in it. Now, York, if we do that, we're going to be down six, seven, eight to one mm-hmm. or two um, before the quarter's out. And you can't come back from that easily. So I really want to make sure that we go out there and we are very focused, um, you know, on, on what the game plan is and how we're going to execute our offense. And let's just talk about the senior class. I know we're going to see him again Wednesday. I know, you know, we want to see him again in the postseason, yeah. but today was senior day. Yes. It's a big class. We're going to talk to a couple of them here in a second. Mm-hmm. But uh, can you, I, I don't know, 12, 12 seniors know. and so many impactful yes. seniors in this group. Yes. What can you say about this class as a whole? What do you say about a class that has just worked hard from minute one here, that has wanted nothing more than to win? Um, you know, my, my favorite thing is that when we all kind of get together, they love talking about lacrosse. Um, they get excited about talking about lacrosse. They love the game. They love their teammates. They love each other. Uh, you know, they're, they're good friends on and off the field, which is fantastic. And they are they're each other's biggest cheerleaders. Nobody is happier um, than this class for each other when they score or they have a great defensive play. So the culture that they have uh, put together for this team is going to be a lasting, positive, competitive culture. And uh, for that, I, ca- you know, I don't know how to repay that. It's never about the wins and losses. Yes, we always want to win. Who doesn't want to win st- when they step a foot on the field? But the positive culture that they have brought to this team, um, the respect as a Stevenson women's lacrosse player that they have given to this program, and 
to this campus. Um, you know, we're, we, I couldn't be more proud of anything else that, that they have forever changed the culture. And, and, you know, I, I hope to make sure that all classes behind them um, really use them as an example on how you lead, how you lead um, a championship team. Awesome. Coach, congratulations and a big win. Let's talk to your Thank seniors. You. All right. Can't wait. Coach Kathy Rayleigh.